Hi, Mom. Yeah. No, can you pick up Chris after school? Yeah, I'm at, I'm at the doctor's. Mrs. Harris? Describe your symptoms. H hang on. Stress, headaches, nausea. Well, I work on Saturdays. And how long has this been? Equanimity. Balance your lifestyle. Hey, Valder, it's Chris and Christy. Well, hi, Chris and Christy. Love those names. How are you? Real good. How about good. you? Good. How are you? I'm having a wonderful life. I want to know what you guys know that my audience wants to know. Uh, I think they probably want to know about the Barrett-Jackson collector car auction that's coming up this weekend on uh, Velocity and Discovery. It's going to be a blast. First time in the Northeast for Barrett-Jackson. Ooh, this is going to be big deal. <laughs> <laughs> we hope so. <laughs> okay, you guys got any cars in, in, in the show, or you're just there? No, no cars uh, going across <laughs> that we own, but we are there to uh, bring it all to the audience live. Okay, what kind of cars are we going to see? You know, it runs the complete gamut. Um, lots of muscle cars, obviously. There's some exotics, some uh, everyday cars, some classics, some customs. So pretty much anything and everything in the car industry. An Amish buggy. An Amish buggy. Golf carts. A boat. Motorcycles. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit everybody. of everything. <laughs> okay, a little bit. Christy, as, as a, um, a female, what are you going to find exciting about the car show? Oh, I find everything exciting about the car show, not just the cars, the people, the overall experience, um, you know, the energy alone in the auction room uh, as cars are crossing the auction block is just undeniable. So it's it's overall a great experience. I think, uh, you know, men, women, children, dogs, anybody can enjoy uh, a Barrett Jackson collector car auction. It, it's a great experience. Put the fishbowl in front of the TV. <laughs> Everybody wants to watch it. Well, I want to ask you, Chris, recently, uh, no, it was last summer i went to several low rider car shows any low riders in there because that was phenomenal i had never been to anything like that i'm not sure if there's any low riders on uh the docket for mohegan we've sun i know before, we've though. seen low riders mm -hmm. in the past um at uh, barrett jackson so you know who knows uh there may be one going across um but you can certainly uh expect to find one at at any barrett jackson auction what do, what do you think is going to be the most expensive and the least expensive in the show? Uh, well, we can't really speculate <laughs> on what prices are going to be because, you know, that's really up to the bidders. Mm -hmm. um, as we like to say, what is a car worth? It's what someone is willing to pay for it. Mm -hmm. So, uh, But I do expect there to be some very high-dollar cars going across, yeah, in Ferrari. particular the, the <laughs> 1967 Ferrari 330 GT is going to fetch a big number, as well as the 1970 uh, Plymouth Hemi Superbird. We'll probably get some big dollars also. Christy, do you know of any celebrities that own any cars in the car show? Um, I think we have uh, all pro NFL Greg Olson is going to be doing a charity auction there as well. So he's got a 69 Camaro. That's right. Uh, up for grabs, a charity, all charity, and it goes to uh, Hardest Yard, I think is his charity as well, for um, his son who unfortunately suffers from a severe congenital heart disease. So that's going to be a very emotional, very powerful um, car auction. So excited to have Greg on board with our Barrett Jackson coverage in, uh, in Mohegan or in the Northeast and that should be a good one. Yeah, should definitely. be a really good one. Why are you guys so excited about the auction? What's your What's your personal tie-in? You know, we both love cars. We love cars. And, uh, <laughs> so we're just we're just in our element at uh, at the Barrett Jackson auction, and um, pretty much every car is in peak condition because you know obviously the seller wants to get top dollar for it. So to be amongst all these cars and amongst the people because that's really what the industry is all about. We're all united in our love of the automobile. And uh, it's just a, a happy place to be if you love cars. 
Chrissy, you mentioned the Amish buggy. Tell me about that, because don't they still drive buggy? <laughs> um, you know, there's just everything at these auctions. I mean, you know, the Amish buggy, I'd, I'd have to see it uh, up close and personal. I'm not sure if they're going to be driving it or pushing it, but uh, there's a little bit of everything. And, you know, we say a, a golf cart will be there as well, but let me tell you, that's going to be one tricked-out golf cart that crosses this block. So, uh so it's an interesting, interesting variety of anything with four wheels or two wheels or a oh. boat with no wheels. <laughs> Chris, you talked about the 1969 Camaro. That's going to draw a lot of people because that's most guys, that's their youth car. Yeah, you know, and, and, and that's really kind of the trend right now. We're seeing the, the cars are getting a little bit newer because the enthusiasts are getting a little bit older. It's whatever your, you know, nostalgia, whatever era your nostalgia falls into. Um, you know, for me, uh, it was the kind of um, 80s cars. For the generation a little bit older than me, it was the 70s cars. Two generations older than me, it's the 60s cars. So that 69 Camaro, it's, a, it's an iconic muscle car, obviously. It's someone I think any, any generation can appreciate the 69 Camaro. Um, but uh, what's particularly exciting about that car is it'll be a charity car, so I'm sure it'll, it'll get a lot of money for a very, very good cause. Well, Chris Jacobs and Christy Lee, you did a great job of selling my audience on it. <laughs> okay, I know it's in New York, but where can we find out more information? Uh, you can go to the website, barrett-jackson.com, as well as velocity.com. And if you want to get in on the action without having to risk any money, oh. uh, you can go to auctioninsider.com. That gives you a chance to guess what certain vehicles are going to go for, what the hammer price will be. And uh, if you're right on the money, no pun intended, you can win uh, <laughs> some pretty cool prizes too. So definitely check out auctioninsider.com. Well, Chris and Christy, thank you. I'm going to vote on that, that Amish buggy. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Thank you.